name is Robert Chandler, CEO of Epic Music Supervision. Um, I'm a music supervisor. I've um, also done uh, composing in the past. And um, I'm here with Anthony and uh, Clint Productions. And uh, just here to uh, answer any questions and, and let uh, artists know uh, what is it that maybe music supervisors are looking for and how I kind of do work. <laughs> So some of the projects I've worked on is uh, Bad Girls Club. Um, I've done uh, the CBS show, The Millers, uh, the TV show, and um, I've done uh, Storage Hunters, uh, Container Wars. Um, I've also done short films like The Wallet, and um, and uh, I just finished up doing Hardcore Pawn. So uh, yeah, mostly reality shows, but uh, uh, you know. Just uh, that's kind of the work that's been going in right now. So uh, I'm trying to branch out to uh, even uh, more sectors. Yeah, so um, on the business side of things, the, the number one thing <laughs> really is to uh, make sure all of your work is clear. Um, that is the number one business thing. Uh, because once, if, if it's not clear, you'll run into a situation that I've run into um, actually not too long ago, and you can end up losing out on money and also tarnishes your reputation. Um, the other thing is to uh, have it, just having all your paperwork um, ready, you know, having your uh, uh, understanding of the expectations of what what is uh, your writer share, what is um, uh, what royalties are you are you getting in, in return. Um, and um, and uh, I guess along with the business side of things is the uh, professionalism. You know, one of the cool things about working on the TV film side of things, everybody's very professional. And when you're dealing with a uh, music supervisor or you're dealing with myself, um, it's important to have stuff on time, um, meeting deadlines. Um, if you want to continue sending work, um, you know, let me know what it is. Um, and just uh, being prompt. Being very prompt on what what uh, what what songs, what reality shows you see this on, or what uh, uh, feature film you can see this on, because sometimes we need that to capture the vision. Um, I talk to different pro uh, producers off of films, or maybe a director, and, and and I might go back to your track, something you told me six seven months ago, and uh, and it's just all about that relationship. That's the that's really the biggest thing in the business. pro and the con I should say. Uh, so the cool thing with technology nowadays is that you don't necessarily need to be in that city to actually work on a, a feature project. Um, there's been all the projects I've mostly worked on they've been out in LA and so I've been in LA a few times uh, but I don't live there so you don't necessarily have to live there. Um, so that's the, the cool thing about the music the TV and film um, the TV and film industry. On a side note, the other side of this is that um, by being there, you add more value. So for me, uh, when I am in competition with other music supervisors for a feature film, they um, um, by them being actually in LA, they have a head. They have uh, they can go to the office. They can meet up with the producers face to face, the directors face to face. And that has a real big value because I'm a face-to-face -face type of guy and I do some of my best work um, in front of someone instead of over an email. Everyone's sending an email. So what the thing you have to think about is what separates you? What separates you from the other composers? Of course, everyone's gonna say their talent, their music. You know, no one's ever heard me like this or uh, as a music supervisor, I, I, have a, uh, I can match the music and, and, and the vision um, unlike anyone else. But that is a pitch that they hear time and time again. But when they get, when you're actually able to get in front of a person and say, you know what, this is what I'm presenting to the table, and your closing rate, being able to close deals, um, for me, they happen at a, a, a higher success rate than um, over an email. So if you have the uh, additional funds to go to an LA, go to a New York, and 
and if there's a music, uh, there's a project that you feel passionate about, and you have a, some connections out there, then I would say do it. Um, but just be smart about it. You also have to quantify if it makes sense. Last thing you want to do is <laughs> go out to New York on a, on a film that's not paying any money. So, you know, if the money is worth it, um, then, it's, then, then it's worth making a trip. I know that there's a, there's a few films that I've actually uh, sent over proposals for, had conversations with, with their production company, with their directors on that were multi-million dollar films. So if you think about it, if you got a, uh, a $10 million film and let's say your price is a 10% cut of, of the music budget, I mean, it's worth going out <laughs> to LA or New York. So it just makes sense. Uh, and that's where it just come down to uh, make sure it just makes sense for your stuff going out. Uh, the company name is Epic Music Supervision. Um, it's also www.epicmusicsupervision.com. Um, the website is actually getting rebranded right now, but it's still up. And we'll have a new one up uh, probably by the end of the month. And uh, yeah, yeah, so, and that's the way you can get in touch with me. Uh, oh, yeah, email address info at epicmusicsupervision.com. Feel free to send me uh, music that you have. And um, you can also send it to Clint Productions as well. Me and him will be uh, working together on some on a few projects down the line. So, yes, sir. Yeah.